one. Hi, welcome back to our series called, Hey, What's That For? So here I am again in beautiful St. John's Church in Troy, New York, and I'm holding in my hand something called a verge. A verge is simply a Latin word that means, well, rod. And here at St. John's, it's our tradition that the one who carries the rod is called, are you ready? A verger. And here to tell us what a verger is and what that position entails is our very own verger, Lydia Smith. Here we go, I'm gonna hand it off to her. Oh, socially <laughs> distanced. Hi Lydia, welcome. Hi. So Lydia, what can you tell us about the verge? Um, historically, the verge is used, or was used, to um, whack people who weren't supposed to be in church. Did you say out whack? Of, I did say whack. Like, <laughs> <laughs> um, out of church, but we don't do that anymore because that's not nice. That's not nice. That's not <laughs> very welcoming. These days, I lead the procession in a normal time without the pandemic happening, um, and I hold it like this with the cross part really high, and I lead the entire procession up to the altar and all of their respective places, but as a position, I make sure that everyone's here to do their job, like the lecturer is here to read, and the prayers of the people person is here to read the prayers of the people to make sure everything runs smoothly. So it sort of sets the tone and you act as, let's say, stage manager, I if like you will. I like to call it stage manager of church. Well, that's because of our theater it. background. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so, all right, so when it, it used to kind of keep the riffraff in, at bay and you might want to mind your P's and Q's while you're processing and marshalling us in. <laughs> yeah. Well, so now we know. The verge and the verger. Well. Let's learn a little bit more about Lydia Smith. Why don't you have a seat? So, <clears throat> Lydia, how long have you been at St. John's? Um, I think I've been here since I was five, but I can't really remember a time where St. John's wasn't a part of my life. Well, how old are you now? I am 17. Oh, a teenager and lovely. <laughs> well, I know, because I've been around you since you were a little girl, that you uh, take on many roles here. Um, before you were verger, you were an acolyte, you served on the altar. Mm -hmm. I know that you helped set up our bread ministries on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. um, certainly have helped me out in Sunday school and with vacation Bible school. I love doing that, that's always so fun. Oh, I love it too, <laughs> I do, I love it too, and you're such a welcome addition to it. Thank you. Um, but you're also a consummate musician. So why don't we talk about some of, uh, some of the musical things you do here at St. John's? Um, well, the most obvious one I think is I sing during the communion time with George as he plays the guitar and I've been doing that for- That's George Richardson. Yes, mm -hmm. George Richardson um, as he plays the guitar and I think I've been doing that for like three years-ish mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, and that's been really great. It used to be me and Lydia Sloshberg who no longer goes to church because they moved. They moved. Mm -hmm. um, and Amalia, who doesn't come as often anymore. But um, now it's just me and George, and we sing a variety of songs, some from the hymnal, some that are more classical, some that are like more of a folk type of religious music, and I like the variety. It's fun. Um, and that, that's a big part of my life here at church. And another thing is every Sunday, even though we aren't actually going to church on Sunday physically, I come to church and I climb the stairs to the bell tower, which is over there. Um, which is a lot of stairs. It's not just stairs, it's a ladder. It's a ladder. It, yeah, it's, yeah it, it's, I mean, once you do it enough times, it's not that bad. But <laughs> uh, it, I climb that ladder and I play the bells, which is interesting being a smaller person mm. that does not weigh very much to try and push something so heavy down and actually coming up with the 150th anniversary of the chimes, there's gonna be a celebration here at church and um, I'm gonna be playing with Andy a concert. How exciting, and I do know that those bells are heard throughout Troy. Yeah. Uh, I have a daughter who lives several blocks away and she can hear them and it makes her feel good, it fills her heart. All right, so those are some of the uh, things, I'm trying to think, there's so many. Um, have you ever, experienced a ministry that you've tried and said, hmm, maybe not for me? Uh, no. <laughs> well, that's, that's fine. 
and that's fine. Yeah, I mean, I, everything I've been involved with here has been great, so. Good, I mean, it, it's a joyous place. Um, do you have a favorite? I don't know, I like them all. I mean, if I didn't like them all, I wouldn't be doing them, I, because they all bring me joy. I mean, sometimes it can be stressful having to do all of these things, like, at the same time. Like before church, I have to do the verger stuff, like making sure everyone's here, yeah, that's and then go up and play the chimes, <laughs> and then come down and do all the verger stuff again. It, that can be stressful, but I don't think I could pick a favorite, no. Okay, all right. Um, do you have any like funny or special memories or some silly anecdote that um, you could share? Well, any time around Easter with the boulder, that's always funny. I'm standing <laughs> with the gospel trying not to like look at you and laugh. And it's just like the pebble. <laughs> All right, that's a that's kind yeah. of a private yeah. joke. We're gonna the, need some context. The, on the that. gospel reading about moving the uh, the stone away from the tomb, and it has been long since a running joke with Lydia's brother Kyle, myself, that it was really more of a of a boulder. boulder. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, like when we were little, we we're like, what do you mean a pebble? That rock must have been huge. <laughs> um. All right, so you're a teenager, you have many roles here, um, but I think the most important part about church is how has it affected you when you're out there in, in the, world. the world? Yeah, um, well, being a member of a church community has really given me a sense of like community among other people and how important it is to have relationships with the people that are doing things that you're doing and how important communication is and it's just like interpersonal skills I guess like there's a wide range of age ages in the congregation and like people from all over and being able to communicate them with them that I've learned from church is a really important skill as you go out into the world especially as a young person and I mean just being part of a community has just stuck with me. It's really great. Lovely, lovely. So there you have it, folks. We have so many opportunities to serve here at St. John's. So I ask you um, to search yourself and see what you, you enjoy doing and what you're good at it, and uh, how can that help raise the kingdom of God? And remember, as my friend Lydia said, it's about relationship. Have a wonderful week. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Thanks, Lydia.